That's it guys. And we're back again guys at Shaw Harley Davidson and we're going from one adventure on to another. So picked up picked her up today. Just come back from Rome, had an amazing four days off, really, really good fun. So I thought I'd give you my first thoughts on just riding this bike out here, but I am absolutely pumped. Just a, what the hell? Just a quick FYI, just in terms of the bike for modif modification purposes, the guys have just got my lun luns, what is wrong with my English grammar, or English language? Had the lenses done, and the only other thing I'm having done at the moment is exhaust will be changed, but I've got that on back order at the moment. And then the wheel, if I show you guys, it's currently a 160. So what we're going to do is turn this into a 180. You keep the rim, just make a couple of adjustments just to give it a wider look. As you guys know, I do like a wider tyre. The only other thing that I've had is that I've changed over my foot pegs from the Sportster, brought them over to here then. So, oh, and the other thing. So I'm getting flush, what you call them, flush gas cap fitted and then a flush digital fuel gauge fitted as well. So that'll be really nice, all, all inbuilt to the bike. So looking at my bike at the moment, it's done 12 miles. Oh, we're going to make some miles on this. We're going to have some adventures. Yeah, the other thing I've uh, noticed as well, went straight to the reserve and I've got 176 miles left. This is absolutely bliss for me. And then that beautiful sixth gear instead of five. Well, guys, I'm going to just enjoy this. It's not every day you get to pick up a new motorbike. And I am absolutely stoked with this. It's quite funny with all bikes. You've got to get used to it first. This does feel nice. Really stable, really agile as well. Cut the clutch bites really uh, early on the lever. Here we go, nice and smooth. So just been advised by the guys, as with all new bikes, just run it in nice and easy, just take it easy through those gears. Don't hang around on a certain rev range for too long. And really get up to those 500 miles as quick as possible, because then after that it's boom time. I think the first thing I'm noticing is that I can't hear my my, my Goldie's exhaust, it's all quiet. Feels like I'm on a scooter in terms of noise. So a couple of things I just want to go through just in terms of some questions that I got on my last vlog and probably a couple of other things that may be helpful or just useful, I guess. So the big one was insurance for me because I was wondering this could be quite a bit perhaps. Basically on top of that, uh, my insurance was an extra 200 pound per annum which I thought was really good. The one thing that was emphasised to me is just how pony the brakes are <clears throat> on the Lowrider S in the Harley range when um, you've obviously, you're taking it out from new and good grief, they were spot on, they are awful. So I can't wait to get those embedded or bedded in. The other thing I'd say as well that's surprised me of the diner is the mid controls versus the Sportster on their mid controls it's a, a total different experience so for me on the sporty the mid controls are really uncomfortable hate it absolutely hate it on this it's all right it's actually all right i would have perhaps gone for forwards but i feel with forwards and your legs out here and it is on this bike i've sat on a, a low rider s with forwards and your leg is practically fully extended and I think when you're getting up to high speeds and if you've got, you know, a good wind that's hitting you, your legs are going to be like a sail flapping about in the wind. The one thing that I've noticed more than my last review when I did it on the Lowrider S is that the cowl is really good. It is, I don't know if you can tell guys, but it is super windy at the moment. And uh, this cowl is giving me loads of protection, which is good. I'm not getting too much of a, a baffle from the helmet. 
uh, and it just it just seems to really work well welcome back to day two guys bit of an awkward transition but oh i don't know watching the vlog last night going through edson i just felt i was a little bit drained and i think that's the effects from rum so uh i thought i'd take you on a little journey today got up to see one of my uh employees who's leaving the business very sad one of my sales managers and i thought what a great time to start the vlog and i'm actually doing a bit of filtering so i can explain to you what it's like because one of the questions that i did have i noticed on my youtube channel is what is it like filtering versus the sportster and um i did actually say i couldn't give a final answer but i could give you some direct feedback as i'm doing right now and it's pretty good very nimble very light only issue i've got is my exhaust is uh you just cannot hear it at all so I'm just being more wary because usually i'd be coming down here and you could hear my exhaust popping away and people would actually move out the way but with this you just gotta be a bit cautious currently on 60 miles so far from you oh man i cannot wait cannot wait to hit the 500 and just let it out a bit more i'm so tempted to do it guys but it's just i've just been over cautious more than anything don't want to wreck my machine brakes are uh, still pony at the moment probably not the best idea to go on the motorway today <laughs> yolo so for those who are uh, overseas uh, unfamiliar to our roads I'm currently on the M23, which is actually alright the M23, but it's this puppy that I'm going to now, which is a Biatch, the M25. So this is where most of the rat race go round, on their Monday to Friday jobs, like me. Oh, here we go, coming on to the M25. <clears throat> so I love about this bike, I just feel like I've got lots of space to look around and I don't feel like when I turn my head I'm going to get myself chucked off the bike at all in terms of it bouncing about oh it's a great machine I mean last night guys when I went to bed honestly I hit the gym oh, I was in the gym till about quarter to ten and got in had some to eat showered blah 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 and I was in bed I think it was up till about one o'clock just thinking about this bloody bike <laughs> it's like Christmas because I knew I was, I was going to be out on it today love those feels the feels yeah i think the only uh, critique i've got of this bike really and it, it was the same as what i said on my review it was you know where the speedo and revometer is uh, is is placed i just think it should be like up here that that would be i feel a better fit but that, i think that was the only criticism i had so far i think the only other thing as well is is oh is the color and that's not i'm complaining that it's black it's just this thing is gonna be a biatch to clean i can you know i've already asked people loads of questions on how do i stop the swirls um already i'm just being cautious of my jeans against the tank um so i've already had some marks already at the start of the tank so I'm trying not to hug it with my jeans. You can get like a hood to cover that side of the tank and I think that's what I will be doing. So the, one of the big questions I had is, do, why, why don't you customize it? Why don't you do what you did, you know, when you took Goldie on that, on that journey? And, and I've got a valid, I feel a valid explanation for that. So I'm gonna take you through it. Whilst I hope I don't get freaking squished. So essentially, what I love about the Lowrider S is it is what it is. It's meant to look like that. That's the look. That's why it's called the Lowrider S. And that's why I don't want to do much customization on it. Because you're taking it you're taking away what it's meant to be in my eyes. Now I know everyone's got different opinions and I'm just explaining mine, so don't get, get all uptight about it. Um You know, and, and for me I think the bike looks looks perfect. Even right. I'll, I'll be honest i'm not a fan of the wheels i'm really not a fan of the wheel color i think it's a little bit weird but it's a low rider s now i could get it go oh wait there guys testing out my uh mobility here awesome so 
you know, I, I could get it done gloss black, and I've seen a gloss black version, and it's nice. It is really nice. But, again, it's taken away from what it is, in my opinion. So, that's the reason why, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to customise it as much as I did with Goldie. So, the other question I got on, uh, it's actually more on Instagram, on a post I put up yesterday, but... Uh, it's like, why, why why, have you sold Goldie and, you know, all that type of stuff? And to be honest with you, again, it's just got to that end of the journey for Goldie and I. And I just hope someone else will really enjoy it, you know, and make it their own, their own bike and put their own, their own touch on it. This is my new journey, my new chapter. So it's all good, guys. There's, you know, I actually felt pretty okay when I dropped her off so all good oh what a lovely surprise it's raining that means when I get the bike in the Scott Oiler will be all over this anyway all right guys hope you like the vlog as always please give it a like share subscribe all that good jazz and um, I'll catch you on my next vlog which will be France I think possibly something sooner but all the best, safe riding, motor new rider. <laughs>